support. Thank you guys for joining the channel. If you guys are interested in booking your own personal message, you can do that at the website divinelyme.com, boo. All right, we're going to get into this message because let me tell you something. When I say your ancestors are talking, honey, they digging up sins and secrets, okay? And it ain't just them. It could even be you somebody around you so we're gonna go ahead and get into your message if you need anything check the about us section it'll take you over to the website where you guys can book anything you need purchase anything you need you know what to do so check this out i was meditating for you guys somebody's name is ava okay i don't know if your name is ava if that name is significant Get to you or this situation, but I kept hearing the name Ava. Okay, and it's something pertaining to age. Now, somebody's either dealing with the child, okay, or somebody is very childish. I also feel as if Ava's ex, okay, so somebody's ex could be coming back into the picture, but this person has not changed their behavior. And you could be talking to somebody, it's like, don't leave where you're at for something that you're not certain of. Uh, somebody's name is Chuck also, okay, and I also feel as if, okay, I heard rather, it's your birthright. Something is your birthright. Now, there's a drill, I don't know if somebody is drilling something, but I feel like it's a drill, okay? This could even be like a fire drill. Hmm, so it's, uh, somebody's name is Roy also, okay? So something is some type of drill. I do feel as if somebody is going to get Roy or somebody is going to get some type of peace of mind, okay? Especially when it's coming to your life. Somebody escapes something. Somebody also is escaping some type of abuse. Somebody also got a personality disorder, okay? Somebody is looking for, like, some type of help, looking for Cleo, okay? I don't know if you, Cleo, if somebody called you Cleo, or if somebody feels as if you have a lot of knowledge, okay? But we ain't even gonna get into Miss Cleo. You or the person you're dealing with, somebody, a blue couch. This could even be, like, a navy blue or suede, Okay, so what I was picking up was this woman sitting on um, a couch. Now, this is going to be a mother, okay? I don't know if this is how you feel, baby, but literally what I heard was, how can you say you love me when you act like you don't like me? So I don't know if that's how your child feels or if that's how you're feeling about a situation. But somebody feels like somebody is like putting on for the camera they feel like like I don't know if you take pictures or like you okay somebody is saying you want to post a picture okay you want to paint some type of picture and I don't know this makes me feel like it's a child baby okay somebody's child is feeling some type of way. I don't know if this child is feeling neglected or isolated, but it's, yes, they love you, but it's kind of like, it's something that somebody says. It, it could be the way that you are responding, okay? Not sure what's taking place. All I know is I hear this baby, it's like they thoughts. I feel like I can hear somebody's thoughts, okay? Now, I do feel as if um, somebody's name is Monroe. So, uh, whoever's Monroe or Monroe is significant, somebody is closing a door or like, um, okay, I heard a one-way road. Who child, baby, when I say y'all ancestors is talking. So something is like a one-way road, okay? You've been trying to work on something, renew something, but it and I feel like it's a dark road, okay? They taking me down a dark road, and somebody is in this truck, and it's nighttime because and I somebody we on some gravel, okay? So maybe you feel like you're traveling down this dark road by yourself, and this you could literally be traveling down a dark road, but it's something is closed, a door in your life is closed, a chapter in your life is closing. Okay, I'm also picking up caps. Okay, um, like, uh, like caps to it makes me think of Mexican pop or beer. 
huh? But I feel like the cap is flipped over. I don't know what that has to do with with this. Okay. <clears throat> Who child? How y'all doing? Hmm. All right, ancestors, talk to me. Somebody's getting some type of home appraisal, okay? I also feel as if they keep saying quality time. So somebody is going to spend like a lot of time. You could be getting some type of home appraisal on something. Somebody, there's a crack in the ceiling. Hmm. Somebody, the type of service that you may be receiving, okay? You could, like, have some type of issues with the type of service that you may be receiving. This could even be any type of provider. Somebody also has a very sharp tongue, okay? They tongue, it cuts deep. One of y'all babies is either colicky or your baby is going to get colicky. And somebody utilizes home remedies. That also feels that somebody... Um, okay, somebody, they said somebody's nipple. So, you could be breastfeeding or either baby, you had a baby. Hmm. Something's not working for you. It could be some type of insecurity, and this could even be because of the child latching on. Okay. There's some type of cycle that you are going through, and it could even be a cycle with your emotions. Somebody's needing to check in with their emotions. Somebody also has to realize that they can't save everybody. Somebody in Oakland needs CPR. Somebody in Oakland, either you going to CPR or you're going to need to go to CPR, boo. The 29th is going to be significant, okay? Whew. All right. This is a lot, okay? Your ancestors has been talking all day, honey. A lot of chatter, Okay, so something is reversed, okay? Hmm. Baby, your dreams don't stop because life happens. Always remember that. The month of February and August is going to be significant. If you're born in the month of February or August or... Okay, all I hear is February and August, warranty is out. So somebody's warranty could be out in February or um, August. Huh. Somebody's posse. They said the misfits. Okay, so the misfits are the ones who's gonna fix a problem. Hmm. You got some books on your table. They said just don't don't have them there for decoration. Pick them up and read them. So there's a need for knowledge. There's a need for you to learn something, and this could even be a phase in your life where you are about to learn something. Some of you guys are about to learn about a secret enemy. Hmm. You're going to be learning something about a secret enemy. Okay, so they said it's a man on YouTube. He's going to cover some type of story. This man got a crown. Somebody is doing interviews. So I don't know if, if a man is on YouTube is being interviewed or somebody is going to be interviewed. Hmm. Speaking of that, we want to send our love and condolences to Miss Indigo, Mystic's family. Y'all definitely keep that family lifted up in prayers for children. Okay, so something, I just heard something is about to happen on YouTube. Somebody, I don't know if, okay, one of your ancestors got a heavy accent or it's like a thick, a thick tongue. What, hmm, what's a thick tongue? I see a hefty woman. Hmm. I hear a soulful. Okay, I, I heard domination spells. Okay, two witches. Okay. Okay, somebody is confessing, but it's up under torture. Ooh, child, bitch. Mm. Somebody's confessing up under torture. 
Somebody's going to have some type of internet meltdown. Also, shorts are going to be significant, but I feel as if this is going to be like, um, they say YouTube shorts. So it could be like, um, like a short clip. This could even be on Instagram. Okay, somebody's going to have some type of uh, meltdown. Somebody is also going to be some type of backlash when it comes to uh, somebody true. Somebody ain't got no bullets. What? So somebody ain't got no ammunition. Somebody's also going to take some time out for two months to go see a therapist. <sighs> Child. Mm -hmm. I heard a basic chicken. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Or I don't know if your people are saying basomic, but it sounds like basic. Okay, you might be dealing with a basic bitch or some basic chicken. Now, shit. Okay, but okay, let's get back to this. Like, I keep hearing bay. So, I don't know if it's the bay or if you say like bay. Okay, so somebody, I heard, I just heard a woman say, sit back and watch. This going to be a good movie. Ooh, y'all so messy. Ooh, y'all is messy as fuck. Somebody's granny and TT. I'm not being disrespectful, excuse me. But I'm just saying, ooh, somebody is messy. Okay, so somebody is confessing. This woman, okay, so somebody, oh, child. Somebody is talking to the ancestors. This woman is confessing. Because she keeps saying, I. So she's she's telling them what she did. But why is she on her knees? Huh. It's like she's on her knees in front of this chair. Why can't I see around the chair? Hold on, y'all. She's stuttering over her words. Hmm. But I can't see her face for some reason. Her face, and I, I just see hair, okay? I see, like, black hair. And the hair has to be, it's a nice length because she seems tired, drained. Like, she's, like, been running, running like a marathon. But the hair is kind of, like, it's long enough to hang down at least to the shoulders. At least. Huh. Okay. Somebody is desperate to learn about some type of fuse. Ooh, they said somebody dusty on <laughs> They said dusty on YouTube. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so somebody needs to be careful careful when it comes to who it is that they promote and some type of relationship ended in October okay or dissipate hmm. okay it was three people out oh, the replacement so who's being replaced somebody is being replaced November oh November is gonna be pure hell for somebody okay truce Okay, oh, okay, oh, so somebody is asking for a truce with the ancestors. <sighs> hmm. Somebody could also be like a claims rep. Somebody also ate some IHOP. You also could be going green. They said it happened before it conceived. So something transpired before it conceived. The third eye chakra, you need to utilize discernment when it comes to your third eye chakra, especially when it comes to detaching from a situation, okay? Somebody tried to, okay. Somebody tried to destroy what was coming towards you. Somebody also got like a fan. What did you got the fan on for? It's cold, okay? Somebody got one of them fans, but I feel like that's, it's, it's not the fan like, um, on the ceiling, I pick up like a fan that, oh, Jesus, a floor model fan. You know, there you go, boo. It's a floor model fan. Okay. And I'm also picking up some ice cream. Somebody trying to scoop something up. Huh? 
What is this person trying to scoop something up? Okay, so it's going to be some type of fake apology video. <laughs> Somebody going to try to give like some type of fake apology. Okay, I don't know in what community. Okay, I'm just here for the message. Okay, so something's going to be unfathomable. But undeniable. Okay. I also heard you sliding in the home base. You have the right of way. They say, remember, oil and water don't mix for a reason. So you and something or someone don't mix. Who's bubbles? Okay. So somebody ancestor bubble said, you need to protect yourself, honey. Somebody need to wrap it up. Child. Hmm. It may instantly gave me a a um a vision of one of y'all might be popping some of those bubbles that come like with a package. Or poppets. Y'all kids playing with poppets. Huh. Somebody is sterile. They said wrap it up. Somebody is sterile. Huh. Somebody's also trying to stick to somebody. Like they don't want to let you go or your energy go. There's some type of aroma. Okay, your ancestor, they leave a aroma. Sandalwood is significant. Ivory. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so something is needing to be used for your healing. This situation could have been used for your healing. So, oh, somebody's up under judgment. This is somebody's last incarnation. So that's why they trying to fight so hard for something they don't got, what I heard. You graduated to the next phase, boo. This was important when it comes to life lessons and your purpose. The two individuals, huh? Something's coming true. You had a dream. You had a dream about this. There's an opportunity that's also going to present itself. This could even be around the 17th of the month. If somebody is born then, somebody is like, um, this person is going to be very unique. Their, ener their, their energy, it fluctuates. They could come across as moody sometime, emotional. But they have this energy that constantly just renews itself. And it could even be an energy that brings you light. You and this person, you have a past life connection. I don't know why, but I want to cry. Somebody, th th whoever this person is, I, it feels like they, their energy feels so beautiful that it will make you want to cry. Hmm. It's their style. You can't do nothing but be, this person's soft-spoken. Well, why do, okay, why do I feel like that? Hmm. They said you're going to be proud. You're going to be extremely proud. Huh. They nosy as hell. Somebody is. Okay. I don't know if it's the person born on the 17th or what. 
Something is going to have you choked up, baby. Okay? Something about this situation, this healing that you're going through, the spiritual renewal, is going to have you choked up. Okay? Okay, they just said shim. So I don't, we're not even going there. We're not even going there. Okay, somebody about to be on blast. Somebody's about to put somebody on blast. I literally heard twin towers. So that could be like two tower moments. Huh, the twin towers is in New York. Somebody about to put somebody on blast. Oh, I just heard defecate on them. <laughs> what is going on? Who's shitting on people? Wait, what? Okay. It's going to be a before and after. Oh, somebody getting a polygraph. I just heard, oh, bitch, you lying. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on. Okay. Somebody's name could be like Sandy. I kind of want to say like, a, it makes me feel like a Sandy beach. Hmm. Somebody is sinking. All right, let's get into this. Oh, oh. somebody is cheating. You see that? Look at that. Somebody got somebody else. And who, who is this? Uh, somebody got a baby mama. How is the baby mama invisible? Somebody invisible. Okay, so... Is the daddy invisible? What's going on? And who is this? Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Somebody's name is Ewing. Mm -hmm. Ewing feels trapped to a situation. This person, they don't know what they're supposed to do with their life. You know, okay, I don't know if you Ewing, if the street is Ewing, somebody's a snake, okay? Or if Ewing is dealing with the snake, honey. Somebody, your ancestor like Laffy Taffy's. Okay, you're also going to feel like a little, it's going to be a kiss on the cheek. But what you may end up doing is like rubbing like your hand past your cheek or something like that. The reason why you're going to do that is because it's going to feel like an ancestor has kissed you on the cheek. Hmm, something Sandy Brown. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, some of the people that you may be coming across, these individuals could definitely um, lack integrity. This cheater. Somebody is cheating you. This could be cheating you out of something that you, you feel like you should have. They just keep saying, like, the cheater. And this is the thing, you you acting like it's no big deal. They say it's a big deal. What is, okay, what's going on? Yeah, you all up in your head, look at you. You feel like you got other stuff that you got to get done that you could be doing. Somebody got some thick thighs and apple pies too. You ain't been getting up, moving around. What is you doing? What is, what is you doing? Huh? All right, so you woke. Yeah, you, you woke up. You realized that the damn car was on cruise control. 
So now here you are, you trying to steer this thing. It's a little reckless. Okay, so you got to, maybe you got to get some stuff done, but you got to do it. You a little reckless. You kind of like all over the place. Okay, what you say? Fuck staying a lane. You and everybody lane. Okay, you going to find your own lane. Okay, you making a way. Okay, just damn, be safe. Didn't I say earlier driving down the road? I did. Hmm. Okay, so somebody is sleepy, baby. I need for you to just pull the car over. Somebody is going to be sleepy driving down a road. If you're that tired, I would just, I, honestly, I really prefer that you pull this car over. Why are they saying it like that? Pull this car over. Yeah, because somebody is sleepy. Whoever this person is, their eyes is hanging low. So you thinking that by splashing some water on your face, that's going to do something. You've been working too much. Some of y'all work in the shop. Hmm, somebody need to spray something. I don't know. Uh, they said spray some shit. I don't know. So somebody don't want no problems with you. Somebody feels guilty. There's a lot of fear. But, okay, so you're getting some type of commitment. Remember earlier I said somebody was trying to destroy something. You're still getting some type of commitment. There's going to be individuals that are going to be envious of you. It's a why her, why him, why them. And this could be um, anything. I see also two people. I do. I see two people facing each other. Huh? You could feel like things are damaged in a situation. Maybe it's not. Things are actually coming together. Sometimes things have to fall apart in order to come together. Okay. Somebody may also try to justify some type of behavior. I just keep hearing, one of y'all ancestors, let me tell you this, one of y'all ancestors, baby, don't play. Okay? When you go out in public, you look a certain way because I, all I keep hearing is this ancestor over here telling me this bitch looking dusty on YouTube. I don't... So, so I don't know if somebody getting on YouTube looking dusty. I don't... Ooh, Fucking tower mode. And one of y'all gonna screenshot it. Y'all so ratchet. Honey. This person could live in an apartment. Okay. Huh. Somebody's unlisted. I don't got to say, why are they hiding? A polygraph test. Something about a polygraph. Somebody is waiting on some type of results. Okay, from like a polygraph test. Somebody is anxious. Somebody is nervous. When they are, they move their legs constantly. She, you need to get a ass some damn Benadryl. Hell, sit them down. Okay, it's like sit down. So look, somebody took a leap of faith. They jumped into a situation. Look. Jumped into a whole lot of emotions. Didn't I say the beach earlier? Okay, so somebody is definitely on a small little island. Okay, they in their own little island, their own little world. Somebody is also very adventurous. You could like to jump out of airplanes. I mean, I've thought about that, but I, you know, like, you, you didn't piss on yourself. I mean, okay. okay. I'm just, look, I'm just saying. Okay. May 26th, somebody's sinking in the tub. What? Now that was, okay. They came out of nowhere. Fire. 
I don't know, May 26th could be significant to you or somebody you're dealing with. Somebody jumped into a hot situation. Oh, I heard the pit of hell. <laughs> Your ancestors ain't playing. Okay, patchwork could be significant. Somebody, um, your ancestor quilts also. Somebody could have left you a quilt. Mm-hmm. Okay, an uh, Indian reservation. Sacred ceremonies and sacred ground. Hmm. See, there's this big elephant that's kind of in the room. And this could be with you and someone. For some of y'all, you dealing with a situation or an individual that... And for some of y'all, this is going to be like a mother. You couldn't look up to this person. It's a big elephant in the room. And for some of you guys, it could cause you to be angry. Somebody may not have had somebody to look up to. You learn to take a leap of faith yourself. And I just heard now somebody think they done done something for you. Now somebody want to take credit. Somebody also feels like the monkey in the middle. That's what they saying. Somebody dropped out of high school. Education may not have been important to somebody. Somebody may not have had the time. Oh, your ancestors. Look, I can't say all that, baby. When I say, oh, somebody's ancestor. When I say your ancestor got a sharp tongue. They seem a little grumpy. Like, whoever this ancestor, like, I... It, it, Either they nitpicked with you. And look, I'm not talking about you. I'm just describing you. Folks got to know who you are. But a sweet person, okay? A sweet person. I like them, okay? We cool. But it was like they could have been like very nitpicky. Maybe they definitely um spoke their mind, very opinionated. Hmm. But I see this grandparent, uh, grandmother in a chair. It's like they had a specific um, spot. Okay. Snappy. I like it. Okay. Something that irritated you your ancestor. Okay. They said that bitch. Ooh, goodness. Oh my God. When I say like, y'all, this ancestor, I can't even repeat some of the stuff. They do not care for someone. Okay. Hmm. They don't care for somebody. Somebody threw somebody also in the fire. Somebody gonna throw somebody up under the bus. Somebody could have took a, a leap of faith on somebody. You got fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You need to address the elephant in the room. You could have took a leap of faith in a situation. You just took your ass right on out there. You didn't think that shit through. Look, look. I'm just telling you. It. Okay. Somebody didn't think that through. 
somebody has somebody in their ear. Somebody been talking to somebody on Messenger also. Hmm, monkey see, monkey do. Mm-hmm. Somebody doing some monkey see, monkey do. Somebody's also following in the footsteps of somebody around them. This could be somebody that does not lack the the knowledge, awareness, education. And this could eat, eat whether this is um, educational or even spiritual knowledge. Somebody is lacking. Somebody also got an extra tooth. It's like in the front. It's like up at the top, like growing out your gums. Hmm. Okay, so look, late. Okay, somebody getting up late, not wanting to go to school, not wanting to educate themselves on the situation about a situation, being in their own world on their own island, knowing damn well something is bugging your ass. Didn't I say a snake? I think I said that earlier. I, I really do think I said a snake, okay? Look at this. You're refusing to allow this snake or whoever to intrude on your, your space and your energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody didn't kill the snake. And that could kind of be like uh, figuratively. Somebody around you. Here somebody is lost. Can't figure out how to get to the bathroom if they like them. Depended on it. Oh, Lord. What time is it? Oh, we doing good. We doing real good, boo. All right, let's see. We got to put some tea on that. Let's put some tea on it. So you got something at work. For some of y'all, this could be dealing with work. Okay. Somebody going to try to explain something in the workplace. But somebody is going to be, mm-mm. Somebody ain't going to be satisfied. You might not be satisfied with what somebody got to say. Somebody overwhelmed. Who somebody, look, is struggling to identify with individuals? Okay. Somebody trying to figure out how they can get one over on you. What you say? Never. Never. They nosy asses. Okay. So somebody is definitely, look, trying to figure out what's the tea. What you got going on in your world? Mm -hmm. You done painting pictures. Somebody done faking the phone. Somebody got some identity problems. And one of y'all antisocial. Your ancestors said, get it together. Ding! Get it together with your antisocial ass. How the hell they gonna ever bring in Mrs. or Mr. Right? Yeah, you always antisocial. Everybody ain't gonna be no snake, okay? Look, you took your ass to class, okay? What you say? Somebody did. Baby, life. Is school. You learn it. Look at this. Honey, some shit gonna pop off. Somebody gonna pop off at the mouth. Secrets coming out. All right, ancestors, what y'all talking about? Hmm. Somebody on some fuck shit. Okay. So somebody, here they go, taking a leap of faith. You could feel like you took a leap of faith in a situation dealing with some fuck shit. Okay. Now what's some fuck shit? Some shit you ain't got no business dealing with. Some shit that look like fun at first. Some bald head hoe shit sometimes. You know, where you just want to go out and have fun with your friends. 
or you see a little cutie that look hot. And you know you should not. But it's taking a leap of faith on, on something that ends up turning out bad. You know, situations where you just tell yourself, you know what, I probably shouldn't have did that. Why did I even do that? And this may not even be you. If you cool, if you like, look, sis, I ain't even been in no fuck shit. Hey, the ancestors, look, they digging up sins and secrets. They said them bitches want to dig, okay? They gonna give them something to dig for. So somebody here, they are taking a leap of faith. Honey, somebody dating, look, dating somebody that's on that BS. For some of y'all, you didn't set something up with somebody on a specific date. You didn't took a, a leap of faith, and here you are, dealing with somebody on some fuck shit. One of y'all, you gonna end up waiting for somebody. You going to go meet somebody, waiting for somebody, and they just gonna send you up. Here you are sending them messages. That be that fuck shit. They don't want to answer the phone. Okay. So here somebody is. They took a leap of faith. Thought that they was going to be able to change somebody. The ancestors said cut that hoe off. Okay. Cut them off. Cut off their supply. Mm hmm I told, I said I saw a crown, okay? But I feel like it's a man wearing a crown. If this is a man, he's a drama queen. He's in the closet. I don't know why I keep picking up like, I feel like a king. Huh. I heard he's a bottom. A bottom feeder. <laughs> oh. One of y'all answers. Oh my goodness. Clear May. Child. What we gonna do with you? That's what I feel like. It's a what we gonna do with you. This is one of them ancestors that, like, if you take one of your friends around them, th baby, they better have some tough skin. It, that skin better be real tough. Okay. Look at you. Okay. So, soulmate, here you are on your own little island. Feminine energy. Somebody's coming up out the fire. But yes, there is this disconnect between you and this person. This person's flighty. The one that's on that fuck shit. You may be a fire sign or whatever the situation is. It has the potential to piss you off, which is why you're needing to learn how to detach from that fuck shit. And again, baby, it don't have to actually be you dating a fuckboy. Because all of y'all ain't dating. But there are times when you come across individuals. Hell, it could be your own family member. You sitting up here waiting to pick up the food stamp card and sent them the... <laughs> Thanksgiving gonna be lit! <laughs> what you say? Hmm try it if you want to okay you say granny gonna see everybody get their ass well, okay girl you better look you know your damn cousin you better wait and go get bro especially if you a man you know how she is with that food stamp card and you didn't gave this girl fifty dollars two months ago and you still waiting on some stuff Y'all getting real. Your ancestors said they is tired. They so... Honey, your ancestors said they so tired of people trying to get over on you. Yes. They are. They sick of their shit. Okay. 
Look at him. Trying to get over on you and the bitches didn't even study for school. So you're dealing with illiterate ass folks. And no, it is not just about going to school and graduating and getting an education, okay? Because, baby, you can have book knowledge, but if you ain't got street knowledge and common sense, you're not going to survive in the real world, honey, because I'm still waiting to use that damn algebra, okay? I'm still waiting to use that. But I mean, until then. Mm hmm they done painting pictures, okay? Somebody needs some clarity. What you say, what you say, okay? That's what this is. Somebody needs some clarity. Somebody need to try to figure something out because it's a big elephant in the room. You could feel like this person trying to get one off on you. What you say? Mm-mm. Because you're standing alone. You're not painting a picture. You have studied for the exam. Didn't I say there was going to be a drill? It was going to be a drill. You studied and somebody didn't. So you were prepared. And somebody was on that fuck shit. Jumping out of airplanes and shit. Oh, you just having you a good ass time. Here you go, just arms up. Okay. And then, and, and don't even have, ain't you supposed to have on like a... A parachute. So this person don't even wear protection. Ooh, child, honey. No wonder why they said somebody needs to wrap it up. They give you that risky type of vibe. Mm-hmm. Somebody like to take a lot of risk. Whoever the individual is. And that could be why you need to cut them off. Somebody don't want your problems or your ancestors' problems. Okay, they said you ain't got no time to chill with, no? Let me cut that down, honey. Got enough of the ancestors spitting messages. Don't need no music. Okay, so you're seeing some type of bug or beetle. Here you are surrounded by all of this emotion. One of y'all dealing with, it's a fire sign and a... Um, air sign was about to come out but what i'm trying to say is water sign this water sign is bugging but they bugging because somebody ain't never at home and not only you need to cut that hoe off especially if you drink like folgers coffee mm-hmm Somebody's name is like the, or it's like some brothers, the Hills Boys or Hills Brothers or something. Hmm. But this person is too flighty and somebody's too afraid to address the elephant in the room. Somebody got extra meat on their back. Okay, so you got some lines around your waist. And I don't know if something's in, like, is your pants too tight? I don't know. I feel like somebody pulling down. It's like where the elastic band is. I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know. I'm just putting your business out here, but it's discoloration. It's all light right there. So is that what they need to be honest about? It's okay. I don't, it, it's something going on with somebody's self-image. Or maybe some, okay, so he, oh, I'm not going to say that. Oh my God, that is so wrong. This person sit back watching somebody get undressed. And if you could hear what they are thinking, no, oh my God. Cut that hoe off. Cut that hoe off. Somebody getting undressed in front of some... <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
I am so sorry, honey. And this person's just sitting back watching you get undressed. And if you could just hear their thoughts. And this is like a soulmate of yours. I don't know. Somebody's weight changed. Your weight changed. Somebody also be trying to spiritually profit off of somebody. Trying to find out more information. Didn't I say somebody was looking for Cleo? Because Cleo keep it straight one, honey. You've done the homework. Somebody did the math. Try some me 18. Hmm. Somebody has trisomy 18. You could feel alone too, baby. Yep. Sure. Is this somebody's ex? Your ex is bugging. Your ex is emotional. These emotions got them in their head. They thinking about this girl, they soulmate. Oh my goodness, this person's really passionate for you. Okay, so I I just heard that song, I like big butts and I cannot lie. So this person, but then I just heard humpback, humpback. I got a um, a, a child ancestor. I hear a child. This was somebody that was young. I hear this baby laughing. Somebody playing the dozens. Like I hear the child playing the dozens. This little boy used to, damn, y'all gonna make me cry. Okay. So your baby said he missed his mama. This baby played with lightning bugs. Hmm. Somebody wasn't at home. Your son turned into a handsome young man. Damn, man, that make me want to cry. It's like clear as day, all of a sudden, this little boy's voice just came through. He like playing. Okay, so somebody's name is like Bug. Make me feel like June Bug. He said his mama smoked weed. <laughs> Ooh. This happened when he was young. Somebody could have been like around seven. Somebody's also going to be a part of like the Me Too movement. Huh? Or this little boy. Like I hear somebody saying like, oh, poor baby. Hmm. Oh, child. Okay. So your ex got people watching you. He tripping out. She tripping out. These ascension symptoms that they going through. Okay. They trying to handle it with some type of drug. Why? Because this person is deeply affected by you. Somebody's obsessed with you. Okay? Yeah, somebody is truly obsessed with you. Whoever the person is, they made a deal with the devil. And I feel like that means that your person made the wrong choice. They went down that one way or that dark road. And now they're deeply affected by... By you, boo.
somebody was under the influence when something happened to that baby. But I don't feel like it has anything to do with the parent. Because I can still hear this baby laughing. Didn't I say his mama did? Uh, yeah. He wants you to leave that man alone. He said that man ain't no good. He don't want that man in the house. Somebody's uh, son is very protective. This woman's got thick, okay? He said you got thick, uh, thick legs. Huh? You don't like that man, baby. Okay. Well, that was a lot. Lord. Let's get y'all a couple messages and then we hit it up out of here. Huh. This, somebody was on the varsity. Okay, so that baby said, you are not alone. You're never alone. It's time for y'all to get excited. Okay, but I need to know real quick before we head up out of here. Y'all done told us all this, honey. What about that fuck boy uh, energy? That fuck shit. Okay, time to go with the flow and slow your roll. All right, so God intervenes on your behalf. Okay, so what about that? Yeah, we ain't we can't leave without that. Okay, so look, polyamorous relationship. Didn't I say I said three people earlier? Somebody trying to get you to be all kumbaya and have a whole come to a Jesus moment with somebody that's on some fuck shit, okay? Somebody that's a ticking time bomb for some of y'all. Third party situations. Whoever this is, this person just, look, some, look, playing games. Playing straight games. Ciao, bye. Alright. Some of y'all, it's time to change the layout, they said. Okay. Lord, we thank you for these messages. Thank you for the beautiful ancestors. Thank y'all for your messages. Um, your ancestor said you need to get fit. The vibe, the energy, it may change to you being more active once you start cutting somebody off. You need to learn to cut somebody off. Soulmate or not. Mm hmm Okay. It's time for you to take action. Take a small step towards what you want in your life, okay? What do you want your life to look like? Start making the proper steps to go ahead and get what it is that you want. For some of you guys, it may require you to deal with people who are on fuck shit, but remember that you're dealing with individuals who are just on that fuck shit, okay? When, don't expect nothing more from that. If you know somebody is on some BS, you can't put all your eggs in that basket, boo. And look, somebody trying to lean on somebody to climb up the ladder. Uh-huh. This chick got some pretty hair. Somebody got an overbite and a dimple in their chin. You're not energetically available for that shit, okay? Quit letting people lean on you. And they on this fuck shit. Uh-uh. 
No. Your ancestor said that ain't about to happen, boo. Your ancestor said lean off, not on. Lean off. Get your ass off. So your ancestors, whether you do it or they do it, they gonna back somebody up. Somebody that's on some bull crap. Whoever this is, if this is a woman, she's going to have a very fiery personality. Okay. She could be a fire sign. Why she ain't got no clothes on? Where her clothes at? Oh, your ancestor said she a hoe. And for some of y'all, this could be like a friend, co-worker. Huh? So, if you don't distance yourself, they going to distance somebody from you. They said it's time for you to take action. Yeah, it's okay. You can see the love in everybody, but see it from a distance, okay? See it from a distance. By doing what? Protecting your energy, okay? For some of y'all, somebody is codependent as hell on you and they be on fuck shit remember they say birds of a feather flock together you are your brand don't nobody don't have nobody hanging on your damn coattails pulling you down let me tell you something you can get in enough fuck shit on your own you don't need nobody's help you don't need nobody pulling you down it's time for you to disconnect and baby, when I say your brand, I ain't talking about a business. I'm talking about who you are as a person, your name. Don't have nobody putting you into third party stuff. Having to get other people involved. Then only for you to feel like you dealing with some fuck shit. What they say, you are not energetically available for that. For people to be latching on to you to climb up the ladder of success or latching on to you. Look at this. So three people go climb up this ladder together. Hmm. And here they are leaning on you. Yeah, it's okay to see the love in everybody, but you need to learn how to protect your energy and protect your vibe. Stop painting pictures, acting like, oh, it's okay. You can borrow my sweater. You can borrow my man. Like, what the? F <sighs> okay. Protect your vibe. Yes, you are what people need. But you don't always have to make yourself readily available for other people and what they need. Look at this, baby. It's harvest time. Okay? People are truly affected by you. The devil want to go get his damn kids. Okay? And people could be feeling some type of way about this. You need to go check on those seeds that you planted. Okay? If you planted some seeds, it's time for you to reap a harvest. Look at this. And when you do, make sure that you give back more. Take the time to do just that. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, okay? Take the time to chill out, boo. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. I truly enjoyed you guys and your ancestors was awesome sauce. Bye, boo.